Welcome back to Factorio. In our last session, we learned about using various types of modules, and now we're going to get into accumulators, which are needed concurrently with that to improve our power grid and our factory operations. We have two assemblers in our depot area, and the accumulators themselves require 10 seconds to produce iron plates and batteries. We can see our first round of batteries just coming in now, and these will begin producing gradually what we need. It's a sort of a slow build up, just like the modules were. If we take a look, all the way up in the north is where we're actually producing our batteries. Chemical plants, we've got a solid amount of sulfuric acid coming in and being used on these. And then we've got iron and copper as well. It's a fairly slow process. So I have four of these because we need two chemical plants building batteries for each of the assemblers that we want to build accumulators. So four to two on that. Then out to the main bus. This is split off because we will be using batteries for other purposes further on to the north, but just for now, they are going down to the south to our depot. After you get a decent amount of accumulators acquired, I happen to have 70 of them laid out here. Just connect them up to anywhere where they are into the electrical grid and we can see the static electricity effect. Each of these is gradually absorbing energy and they store up to five megajoules. Now the optimal ratio, if you want to run entirely on solar power plus the accumulators as your backup system overnight, and that's what we're looking to do here, is to have 21 of these to 25 solar panels or 0.84 accumulators to every solar panel that you have. And that will allow the solar panels to produce as much power as the accumulators will provide overnight plus enough extra power to charge those accumulators during the day so that they have that energy stored up. Now for this area, I do have, I'll look at a couple builds here. I have the power poles a little bit closer together because the accumulators are smaller than the solar panels. I don't want them to fall in between the gaps. So here's what I mean by that. If we spread these out like so, as we were for the solar panels, as far out as they can connect, and then put up our accumulators, say starting here. Well, these are all flashing red because there's no actual power being generated here, but if we just hook them up to the rest of the grid, okay, now they're charging. But if we keep going over, some are gonna get stuck in this gap and it's now flashing yellow because no power is getting to this. So I could just, of course, skip that entire gap and just move them over here, but I would prefer to not do that. Instead, I just put these one square closer together, and then we can put them anywhere on this line, and they're going to be getting power from one side or the other because they're still within the distribution area of the power poles. Now, what we want to do next is, first of all, get enough accumulators to satisfy our current solar panels, and I boosted these up some to make it a decent ratio. 500 total solar panels, but it could be wherever you happen to be at the current point in your factory. Multiply that out by the ratio I mentioned before. 420 accumulators is what I'm going to want. And that's going to get us to that equal ratio. And then we'll want to build out further and try to use a method that's going to allow us to keep that ratio intact. The way I like to do this, there are many ways, experiment on your own always, but I call this the megawatt square. I'm going to go six by six. With my solar panels. And this is going to give us a total of 20 of those for now. And then inside of that, again, because they're smaller, I can fit six by six accumulators. And that's 20 of them. That almost gets us to our 21 to 25 already. And then if we put at each inside corner here, these medium power poles, they will be able to just barely reach these solar panels on the outside. Plus notice that they are perfectly covering the inside here. And then I could perhaps throw up, say a pattern like this. That could give you a bit of an interesting aesthetic. We're close now. We've got 24 to 20, not 25 to 21. I could potentially put another accumulator there if I wanted. And 
you know, it's relatively symmetrical and looks pretty decent, I think. Now, there is some unused space, though, and we also have a situation where it's not quite the perfect ratio. So if you want to do that, and this is the way I'm going to approach it, then I've got to find a way to fit another solar panel in here. So I'm just going to take these two out. So now we're down to 18 accumulators, but okay, now we have 25 solar panels. And then I can fit three over here, and there we go. 25 solar panels, 21 accumulators, perfect ratio, and I can just print this out as many times as I need. I know each one is providing 1.05 megawatts, so just over a megawatt. It'd be 24 solar panels and 20 accumulators, which would not quite be a perfect ratio, but that would give you exactly one megawatt if you wanted to go in that direction. Now, it's worth noting that as is, our setup so far with the accumulators actually doesn't do us that much good. And the reason is we now have three potential sources of power for any machine that needs it. One is our steam power, one is solar panels, one is the accumulators. And the factory has a certain default priority, which places solar first, and then steam, and then accumulators last, which has annoyed some players, but there's really no good solution to that. Because the accumulators actually don't produce power. They're just a backup system to store it. And there's no way for Factorio to know whether you want to use accumulators like before your steam power or after your steam power. You might want them, for example, if you were using more power regularly than your steam power plant can provide, then if you use up all the energy in the accumulators first and then the steam power comes on, all of a sudden you have things running short on power. So it is a logical assumption that, well, we're going to use only the accumulators when solar and steam can't keep up. They're designed as a backup or reserve power system, and that's just how we're going to use them. But if you want your factory to work differently, we could, of course, just tear down, of course, our entire steam power plant. Just rip it up. But first of all, we don't have enough accumulators to do that yet. And even when we do, what if we want to keep that steam power up and use that as our backup system? So in the next session, we're going to talk about how to do that, how to make your factory think in those kind of ways, how do you give it some conditions, and this will apply to more than just your power grid, but I think this is the first point in the game where it's useful to try to get into that kind of logic, and we need to use something called the circuit network, and we'll be looking forward to that coming up soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Factorio Demystified will continue.